Welcome back. Well, more than 50 million Americans suffer from at least one autoimmune disorder in 75% of the patients. Well, they're women, but getting to the root of what's causing these health issues could add extra stress when numerous doctors cannot find out what is wrong. Thanks so much for staying with us this afternoon. I'm Tamson Fidel. And I'm Erin e. LeBeau. So our next guest found herself at a crossroads when her wife was struggling with health issues. Now, they spent years trying to figure out what was wrong until one doctor actually changed their lives forever. Yeah, she's joining us now to talk more about it. Dr. Afra Lamandre is joining us with more. Uh, nice to have you with us this afternoon. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Oh, so let's go ahead and define, first of all, what exactly is an autoimmune disease and what are a few examples for the audience? Perfect question. So the immune system is supposed to attack foreign invaders, outsiders. That's its job. But autoimmune disease is when the body's immune system misfires and instead of attacking a foreign invader, starts to attack the body. So thyroid, um, skin like psoriasis, joints as in rheumatoid arthritis. But, you know, there's one thing that's really important. I know it's autoimmune month, but it's really important to talk about something that a lot of people are not talking about, which is pre-autoimmune. You said earlier that 50 million Americans have at least one autoimmune issue, and that's true. But there are, 50, there are millions and millions of people who are walking around with aches and pains and brain fog and skin issues who are going from one medical provider to another being told that there's nothing wrong with them or it's in their head. Hmm. And those people are actually what I call pre-diagnosis or pre-autoimmunity. And it doesn't mean that your symptoms are in your head. It just means that the labs didn't catch up with you yet. So if you're out there, if you're a viewer and you know that you're suffering and you know there's something more, I'm here to tell you that there is. Wow. All right, so E, what can you tell us about the root cause of autoimmune diseases? It's a combination of genetics plus inflammation. And that's important because just because it's in your genes doesn't mean you have to get it. If you have long-term chronic inflammation, you're more likely to trigger an autoimmune disease. So the next question is, well, where does inflammation come from? And of course, there's many sources, but we always start with the gut because 70% of your immune system is located in the gut. So if there's inflammation there, there's going to be inflammation everywhere. The bottom line is if your belly is off, the whole immune system is off. We hear that over and I, we, over. I was just gonna say that. We hear the word inf inflammation all the time now, right? So let me ask you this. What's the connection between autoimmune diseases and functional medicine? And how come conventional medicine is not always gonna point to autoimmune as a problem? Excellent question. And the difference between conventional medicine and functional medicine when it comes to autoimmune diagnosing is timing. Mm -hmm. And what do I mean by that? In conventional medicine, you're only diagnosed once your blood work is abnormal. It has to meet certain levels and parameters. But in functional medicine, we take a look at the whole person, the symptoms, inflammatory markers. And we can see the autoimmune from miles away. We know that it's coming. And this is the time where patients feel really unwell and are being told it's in your head but it's not in your head, it's just not in your blood yet. And we know this is personal for you. Uh, we were wondering how, if someone feels like something is wrong in their body, what should they be doing if you know doctors haven't diagnosed them? Um, so the diagnosis is usually done with blood tests, and as I said earlier, but it's tricky, right? Because you can have a negative blood test and still have an autoimmune issue. So that's why if you're out there dealing with persistent unexplained symptoms, joint pain, GI issues, fatigue, skin rashes, you know, if you have the diagnosis, great, you feel validated and you can start your treatment. But for those of you who are suffering just because they don't find some, something, doesn't mean it's in your head. So what do you do? If you know in your heart that something's wrong, Always, always start with your PCP first. Never skip that step. You have to first try to go to your PCP and follow the recommendation. But if they find nothing and you know that something's up, that's when it's time for functional medicine because we look at things a little differently. So you've been in the medical field but decided then to go back to school and get your PhD in integrative medicine. Uh, what made you, congratulations, first of all, but what made you do that? <laughs> So the long story is in my book. If you're ever bored, feel free to get it on Amazon. But the short version is that my wife was sick and conventional medicine could only offer her heavy duty men. And we knew there had to be a better way. By the way, that's why I call it the new method because mm -hmm. you always knew, and patients always know there's a better way. And the thing about functional or integrative medicine 
every medical provider that's crazy enough to go back to school after so many <laughs> years of school to learn all of this yeah. is because either they or someone they love has been personally affected and they know they need more answers. Yeah, wow. You usually that find a amazing. purpose in your pain or something that you or yourself or someone else is going through. Well, Dr. Exactly. E, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. All right. For more information, you can visit our website. It's right there on your screen. You can also find more health tips by following Dr. E on Instagram and TikTok at the new K-N-E-W mm -hmm. method. Wow.